Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pashvika, the channel where we talk a lot about designing, designing tutorials, everything about designing. In today's video, we're going to take a look at making a simple, cool pattern in the Photoshop, how you could make a pattern by using a custom shapes and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get stay with that. Before Gopal, consider clicking the like button, guys. I really appreciate that. If you want more such video future, consider subscribing, hit the bell icon. Whenever I'm going to upload new videos, you're going to get notified about it. One thing I want to tell you, this is just one of the way to do it. Obviously, there are so many ways in which you can make a cool pattern in the Photoshop. So uh, if you are a creative person looking forward to make money online, then I have other channel where I talk a lot about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. The link is in the description box below. You can very well visit our website www.globocreative.com for cool textures, patterns, a lot more freebies are there. The link is in the description box below. Without further ado, let's get started with today. So guys, if you are interested in Photoshop cool brushes, textures, pattern and custom shapes, then I am starting with a membership. Uh, each month I'm going to send you cool Photoshop brushes, textures, patterns and custom shapes. At just $5 a month, you're going to get all them. You can very well use it for creating your own design. It has a full commercial license. So the link is in the description box below. You could very well grab them. Okay, guys, currently we are in the Photoshop. I'm going to quickly go over to the final new option. We're going to take a new white canvas. Okay, so I'm taking a new white canvas over here. You can choose whatever size or file size you want. I've taken the background color as white. Uh, 72 uh, resolution RGB color mode. Now I'm going to be using some custom shape tools. I have created some of the custom shapes for myself. If you are interested in getting these custom shapes, then I have an entire membership. The link is in description box below where you can grab the cool Photoshop brushes, custom shapes, textures, and patterns. Each month you're going to receive a one. The link is in description box below. You can very well grab that membership and you can get the cool, uh, shapes that has a full commercial license so i'm using this custom shape that i'm created by myself in the photoshop and by this custom shape i'm gonna be creating a pattern so i've actually selected a pink color you can obviously choose whatever color you want to choose it entirely depends on you you could be more creative with that and you could do a bunch of the different color options now i'm going to be taking up some different color over here so we were going to have a different color combination on this particular pattern so I've taken a new color over here. You could see it's a darker shade of the pink. And that's what I'm taking. It's kind of like a maroon or in between the purple and maroon, whatever you call it. So I'm going to actually use this one and going to fold the canvas with that. Uh, you could have a one color or multiple colors or rainbow colors, depending on what kind of uh, color combination you want for your design. Uh, so I'm going to quickly do this process. For so I've actually gone back to the first color that was the pink shade that I used in the beginning. So I've actually taken that shade again and I'm going to drag some more shapes over here where you see the more empty spaces that I, I can fill my canvas with that, uh, these particular shapes. So I'm going to quickly do it. I'm going to repeat the process once more time. This time I'm going to take, choose another color. The first color, the second color which I choose, I'm actually reverting back to only these two colors and trying to fill in my entire white canvas with these two color combination of this particular shape and that's what i'm doing over here you could very well take a new shape or a new color or you could import a new graphic as well it entirely depends on you what exactly you want to want for your design so you could see guys i've actually take the same shape but i'm using it in the different sizes and in the two different colors uh, you could very well have exactly the same size it entirely depends on you or you could import a new graphic or use the Photoshop brushes or anything that you would like to use over here instead of these uh, shapes that I'm actually using over here. It entirely depends on you. So I'm going to repeat the process fast and then I'm going to go over to the next step. We are kind of like done with the shape tools and spread it all over the white canvas. You could do more because I'm seeing currently the more white spaces, but I think I'm happy the way it's actually looking. So I'm going to go over to the filter option, I'll click over to the other, then I'm going to go over to the offset filter. I'm going to use the offset filter option over here. Now it's actually telling us the layer options over here and now we are getting the offset filter option. So you could select the horizontal and vertical plus or minus depending on how you want the orientation of your shapes. It entirely depends on you. Once you are done with the orientation and you see how it's actually looking, simply click OK and you're going to be done with the pattern. Now you have to actually go over to the option, the edit, and you need to define the pattern. So I'm going to go over to the option, the define pattern. Once we have used the offset filter, you can very well name your pattern depending on what you have created using the custom shapes or even the colors. So I'm going to just write the name of my pattern. We're going to name it. 
once you are done with the naming of the pattern simply click ok so you have created a pattern and then you have defined the pattern so now is the time to actually test the pattern so for that you need to have a new white canvas and this time you need to take the size of the canvas a little bit bigger in the first case that you have taken so instead of the 1000, I'm going to take as 2000 by 2000 pixels because in the beginning when I was creating a pattern, I actually took it as a 1000 by 1000 pixels. So this time I'm going to keep it as a 2000, like a little bit bigger or just double the size of the initial size of the canvas that you have used for creating your pattern. Okay, you could very well do choose a different sizes and you could do a lot of the stuff. Once done, click OK. You here you are with a new white canvas. Now I'm going to go over to the edit option. We're going to go over to the option, the fill, and we will going to be selecting our pattern from there. So here you are getting an option from the menu of the fill. You have to select a pattern. I have already selected a pattern over here by default. Now you can choose this drop down menu and you can select your pattern, which you have created. Once you're done with that, you just simply have to click OK and boom you could see we have created this pattern and how it's actually looking over here with the new white canvas it's looking so pretty so beautiful tips of the uh, custom shape is a little bit smaller but i think i'm happy the way this particular pattern is looking once you're done with that you can simply go ahead you could save your pattern over here so i'm gonna go over to the file click over to the save option and i'm gonna be saving it you could very well name your file uh, depending on what you want you can save it as a jpeg png file format or any other Photoshop file format in which you want to save your uh, pattern. It entirely depends on you. Uh, you can do your own stuff, guys, okay? I'm going to keep it as the PNG. Instead of the PNG, I'm going to take it as a JPEG. And I have actually named it. So I'm going to simply click over to the Save option. Uh, you can simply go ahead and actually click over to the Save option over here. And once you have actually clicked over to the Save option, then you are going to get this kind of menu over here and simply click OK. So we have created a pattern using the custom shapes in the Photoshop and we have defined the pattern. Then we have also actually tested our pattern using a new white canvas. That was the bigger size uh, of the canvas that we used in the beginning for creating a pattern. And then we have actually filled the intra white canvas with the pattern that we have defined in the Photoshop. So this is a very simple tutorial. If you're interested in getting this particular shape, a custom shape for the Photoshop, then you can very well grab in the membership in the link in the description box below. You can check the membership. The link is in the description box below for custom Photoshop brushes, shapes, patterns, and all that stuff. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want more such tutorials? Or if you have any video request, uh, it's really welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll get us in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye, guys.